Hello and welcome to another episode of 100 Music Lessons. I'm David Herbert and in today's episode we are at the famous The Juilliard School, which is where I went to school and I'm teaching a small group class in the same room where my teacher taught me. So it was a tremendous honor to be there. In the room with me today is uh, Simon Heron, Omar El Abedin, Christopher Che, and Leo Simon. And we had a wonderful few hours together and again we're just going to condense uh, some material for you and I really hope you enjoy this episode. Thank you. so I'm giving more um, more variation so the pianissimo is softer and the, and the fortissimo really pops out a yeah. little bit louder a little bit more assertive and then <clears throat> I think it's extremely helpful just to start out very confidently and strong Keep it more. 
more on the stately side. suddenly at a different level. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm manipulating the dynamics by creating tension, and I'm trying to do this kind of one-shot, fatalistic uh, crescendo. So I'm not trying to be recreate like a, like a metronome type situation. I'm trying to be steady, but I'm also breathing a lot. And when things change, like harmony changes or other instruments enter, I try to give them enough space so that I'm not stepping on them that drives everybody nuts when the 10 minutes are early. So that's the, you, do, you don't want to be late. I, ideally, I want to be kind of, you know, right on time, right in the pocket. But if you're early, you just destroy everything. So if you imagine like any other instrument, you're, you're, you're going to prepare, like a string player would be just, they're going to they're gonna play this thing, and, the, and you, you get, you're right about to play, and then bang, you know, somebody's, my recording is just being faithful to the to the print and trying to trying to trying to make trying to make sense of this so that it sounds like the whole orchestra is like I'm already incorporated. Like they can hear, they can hear that's, their the, own that's the kind of final step of the audition process. Just to take everything that you learn, all that steadiness and the great sound and intonation and then you uh, that that final step is when uh, everybody that's listening to you can just imagine you're playing with the orchestra like that that candidate oh that's that's just sound, and it's such an easy to listen to and it's I'm, you know I can I can you can hear everything happening when I'm when I'm practicing I don't use a metronome so depending on how you need to do things so I'm using a lot more of the, the tape and I'll listen back recording and I'll make sure I can kind of tap along but I don't want to be reliant on the metronome because the for me the metronome's not um, secure enough time wise if you so it's it's not human enough it's not soulful enough I use a metronome when I'm trying to learn new rep just to make sure that it's you know solid if it's brand new rep but none of the stuff uh, I practice with the metronome. I just I'll just listen back to it, and make sure it's you know sort of flowing and steady, and I can just sort of keep tap. So, yeah. so I become a better judge of time than trying to rely on some you know mechanical instrument that's telling me oh I'm really late and I'm kind of adjusting to this thing that even a metronome is not perfect.